Today we're talking about pruning and training tomato plants to grow up a single string. Hello everyone. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Riley. Welcome to my garden. And today I'm going to be pruning and training these paste tomato plants to grow up these strings. All along my patio this year, I planted Grandero paste tomato plants from Johnny's Seeds. And I'm growing up these strings, pruning them to one single main vine. The idea is this year we're going to be making enough paste tomatoes so that I can make a lot of tomato sauce with my grandmother Minnie Padula's recipe. The only thing I'm going to change in that recipe is we're going to be using paste tomatoes out of my garden. I'm really excited about this project this year. I hope you'll come join the channel, watch as all these tomatoes and cucumber plants mature as they grow up these single strings. I think it's gonna be really just a great season here in South Texas. And speaking of great things, last night I hit 1,000 subscribers. I can't thank my subscribers enough for that. That means so much to me. If you're not a subscriber, you're interested to see how this patio project turns out this year, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you'll be notified next week when we put out a new video. So growing tomato plants up a string. The first thing I want to talk about is the string itself. I just use nylon twine and I stapled it to a cross beam on this frame. I dropped it down and I stapled it to the side of my, my garden bed. If you already have your frame set up before you plant your tomatoes, you can also drop that string right in the hole that you're gonna plant your tomato in and put that tomato plant on top of it and the root system will hold it in place. That will actually keep that string closer to this stem at the base of the plant. And the way that I've done it this year because my cross frame was not up uh, when I planted these tomatoes is I stapled it to the back side, which means there's a little bit of an arch on this plant. So that could cause some stress right here as this plant grows older. We'll see if it does, we'll take care of it. Uh, but we're gonna be following this grow all season. So when that problem, if it does occur, we'll put in some extra support underneath it to hold that plant in place. Now to grow a plant, tomato plant up a single string, we're gonna be pruning that tomato plant to one main vine. I've already done an entire video on, on how to do that. And I'll leave a link to that in the video description that is really informative. That is a really informative video uh, if you don't know anything about indeterminate tomato plants. So if you haven't seen that or you know nothing about pruning tomato plants, have a look at that video. What I use to attach my tomato plant to my growing string is I use garden Velcro and I talked about garden Velcro in last week's video on my favorite 20 garden tools that I use all the time in and around my garden. What I do with the garden Velcro is right where a side branch meets the main stem, right above that, I wrap this Velcro around the plant. I give it about three quarters to an inch of space for growth. And that is it. And I'll continue to do that as this plant grows up. I'll continue every six inches or so as it grows and the side branch comes out. I'll put that garden Velcro right on top of that side branch, wrap that main string, main stem to the string. Speaking of garden tools, last week I talked about my needle nose snippers and these are the snippers that I use to trim and do my pruning 90% of my time in my garden and I love them. Not particularly in love with this brand and this $12 pair of snippers. I was at the dollar store this morning and I was picking up uh, some watering jugs and I saw in there garden snippers for a dollar. So 10% of the cost of these, and we're gonna be using them this year to see, well, how long will they actually last? Uh, 
stainless steel. They look okay. Let's see. Sharp. I'm curious to see how well these do. Another project I wanted to share with you today is we are going to be growing cucumbers up a string in between my tomato plants all along my patio this year. And full disclosure, my first cucumbers this year died. Well, I killed them. I left them outside in some cold, very uh, windy weather. The wind chill got down to the point where they got some frostbite on them, some frost burn, and they didn't make it. So I just planted some more. They're a little bit late, but we're gonna go ahead and plant them. One plant each in between these tomato plants. We're gonna be pruning these to a single main stem and growing them up a string in between the tomato plants. Now the spacing might not be ideal, but heck, let's give it a shot and see how it looks. We'll follow this grow all season long. We are going to hang some string. Get my garden twine. And I'm just gonna Trusty stapler. New snippers, ha ha ha, one dollar. All right, let's plant some cucumbers. Had to change my camera angle. My phone keeps overheating. Growing these cucumbers, what I'm going to do is just move my mulch over, get it out of the way. I'm going to be planting this very, very close behind this tomato plant, very, very close to the back wall of my bed, and I'll train it to go right up the string. I shouldn't really need to train it all that much because cucumbers have tendrils, and all we're going to be doing is just pruning this cucumber plant by trimming off all of the suckers, and just like the tomato plant, letting one main stem, one main growth stem grow right up the string so first thing i'm going to do water this in i'm going to take my dibber i'm going to make a hole now Each of these cells has two tomato uh, cucumber plants in them. So I'm gonna plant them like this, put them in that hole, I'll fill it in, water it in from the top one more time, and then I'm going to give it a few days and I'm gonna see which of those two plants reacts better. The stronger one I'm going to keep the weaker seedling of the cucumber plant, I will snip off with my brand new $1 snippers. $1. All right, let me get planting. I'll catch back up with you when I'm finished with all, with all these cucumbers. My tomatoes have been pruned. They've been strapped to my growing strings. My cucumbers have all been planted. I'll come back to these cucumbers in a few weeks. I'll cut back the weaker of the two that I planted in each growing hole. We're gonna train these up the strings. I haven't finished these strings yet because it's 92 degrees. I'm gonna wait till the sun goes down a little bit and I'll finish putting those strings up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified next week when we put out a new video.